This video demonstrates how to create and customize spline, spline area, stacked spline area, and full stacked spline area charts. These chart types are similar to the corresponding line and area views, but draw a fitted curve through each series point. I already have a WPF project with a chart which does not contain a series. In this demo, I'll show spline series views customization using the chart designer. This designer allows you to create and customize a chart of any level of complexity from scratch. To invoke the chart designer, I select the chart control and click the chart control smart tag and in its actions list, click the run designer link. To create a spline chart, I invoke the add new series dropdown list in the designer chart tab. Then I locate the spline 2D item and double click it. The spline chart appears in the chart preview window at the center of the designer. In the properties window, which is located on the right side of the chart designer, I locate the line tension property. This property specifies the smoothness of a spline curve and set line tension to 0.6. You can see the result of applying this property in the chart preview. Then I show the markers in the spline chart by enabling the marker visible property. After that, I change the current marker model from circle to cross and set the marker size to 12. And the customization of the spline chart is finished. Let's create a spline area chart. To access the spline area properties, I select series one in the chart structure window. Then in the properties window, I set the line tension to 0.7, transparency to 0.5, and enable spline area markers and labels. To save settings and close the designer, I click the Save and Exit button. This generates the following XAML. Then I run the application to see the spline area chart. In the next steps, I'll show the process of creating stacked spline area and full stacked spline area charts. To start the chart creation, I run the chart designer. Then I change the current series view type to stacked spline area by selecting the spline area stacked 2D item in the change chart type dropdown list. For the created series 1, I set its transparency to 0.5 and enable labels visibility. Then I add Series 2 and Series 3 from the Add New Series drop-down list and repeat the customization. You can see that stacked spline areas do not place the entire diagram space in the chart preview. To change this behavior, I select the Y axis in the chart preview. This allows me to access its properties in the properties window. Then I locate whole range in the properties window and click the property marker. This invokes the list where I click the new axis range item. In the range options, I disable auto side margins and set the side margins value to zero. Next, I repeat the actions for the X axis. And that's all for the stacked spline area charts. Finally, I show the process of creating the full stacked spline area chart using the designer. To do this, I select the spline area full stack 2D from the change chart type dropdown list in the chart tab. This automatically changes the previous chart to the spline area full stacked with three series. Let's show the series label. To do this, I select series one in the chart structure window and enable the labels visibility in the properties window. To customize the labels text pattern, I locate label, click property marker, and select the new series label item from the list. Then I locate the ellipsis button in the text pattern property and click it. This invokes the pattern editor. To show series label values as percents, I select the percent value placeholder from the placeholders column 
and click the specific button to apply this pattern. From the format drop-down list, I select percent and select the second item. Then I click OK to close the editor. The resulting pattern looks like this, and you can see the chart shows series label values as a percentage in the chart preview. For the next Series 2 and Series 3, I repeat actions similar to Series 1. Note that I can apply the text pattern directly without using the Pattern Designer. Finally, let's change the Y-axis label format to percent. To do this, I access the label options by selecting the Y-axis in the chart preview. Then I locate the label property, click the property marker, and choose the new label item from the drop-down list. To see properties for the label options, I expand label, locate the text pattern ellipsis button, and click it. This invokes the pattern editor where I apply the value placeholder to the pattern column, clicking the button. Then I select percent from the format drop-down list and select the second format. To save the changes and close the editor, I click OK. And the customization is finished. Close the chart designer, clicking Save and Exit. And you can see the resulting XAML will look like the following. Let's run the application to see the final result. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.